So we take a quick look at the 1 equals 2 paradox, which is where you can apparently show that 1, 2 using algebra. And of course that's not true. So here's the paradox. All right, You start with a statement that A equals B. Perfectly reasonable statement. So we'll multiply this through by A, which is perfectly reasonable to do. And then we subtract B squared from both sides, which gives us that expression. See, minus B squared minus B squared. You look at this and you see how that can be factorized. So factorize it like that. And see if you multiply that out, you'll get those two squares. The insides will cancel. And just take a common factor of b. All right, that's very basic algebra. Now you'll notice we've got an a minus b on both sides. Cancel those. Get a plus b equals b. And then it's a equals b up here. We can substitute in b equals b. So we get two b equals b. And say well equal to one. 2 times 1 equals 1. So when b equals 1, 2 equals 1. So all this algebra, 2 equals 1. So I'll let you have a, a look at that for a minute and see if you can spot a mistake. You might want to pause the video and try and figure it out. Otherwise, I'll just go ahead and show you where the mistake is. So the mistake is in the cancellation of a minus b these two things cannot be cancelled. When you look at it, it seems obvious. You go, I ah, just cancel those off. But remember the first statement, a equals b. So a minus b is zero, because you're taking two things away from each other that are the same. So you're going to be left with zero. So all of this stuff at the bottom, that's all rubbish. Once you remember that a equals b, that's zero, and that's zero. So really all you've shown is that 0 equals 0. This doesn't work because these can't be cancelled because A equals B. And that's the solution to the 1 equals 2 paradox.